Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Nicole and this is Lazy Creek Homestead, where I hope to be an encouragement to you in all things mom life, in the kitchen, homesteading, a little bit of everything in between. In this video, I'm going to share with you some crock pot meals using cream of condensed soup. You can use any type you want or even your own homemade. Some of these meals are a little bit of mix up and creations of meals I've shared before, so I'll link those in the description box below. So let's get to it. All right, we had ham as a holiday dinner, and I have a bag of cut up onions and potatoes that were extra. And I'm going, I have some cream of broccoli soup at the bottom of my crock pot. And we're just going to throw together a quick ham and potato dinner. And I will put in some broccoli after this is warmed up in the crock pot for a few hours. And quick and easy. We got that all mixed up and we'll put it in the crock pot on low. We're heading out for a little while today and we'll come back and as long as the potatoes are about fork tender, I'll add in some frozen broccoli and let it cook for another hour or two and we'll enjoy dinner. And we got the last of our fruit cake packaged up and ready to be gifted. All right, we'll catch you back here when this is all done. All right, we're gonna add a, about a block's worth of cream cheese to our mixture. Our potatoes are just about fork tender. And then we're going to add in some broccoli. And we'll let this cook for about two more hours and we'll serve. All right, and here's our quick and easy soup from our leftover holiday meal. Again, it's just a um, some broccoli, cream of broccoli soup, um, some half and half, uh, cut up ham, some potatoes and onions, and some frozen broccoli, and we just let it cook in the crock pot, added some cream cheese. You can add some cheddar cheese or whatever cheese you'd like, and we let it cook for about six hours. And it is delicious. We're going to serve it with some rolls. That potato soup was delicious and made out of all leftovers from the holiday meal. What better than that? Just throw it all together. Can't go wrong. Our family very much enjoyed that meal. On to the next one. All right, I'm going to share what we're doing for dinner tonight. Another quick, easy meal that I've shared before. We're going to do creamy Italian chicken. Except we usually put it over noodles and rice. We're going to do pierogies. So we're going to kind of mix together two of our favorite crock pot meals. So let me show you how to do it. All right, first we're going to dump in our can of cream of chicken soup. And I'm going to thin that out with some heavy cream. Alright, so our heavy cream was a little uh, frozen, so it was quite thick. So we're going to add in a new bottle. Let's hope this one isn't as thick. Nope, looks good. Say about a half a cup to a cup. Just going to thin out our um, cream of chicken soup a little bit. combine and then I'm going to add in a log of goat cheese. Um, if you don't like goat cheese, definitely use cream cheese. I'm also going to add in about two cups of shredded cheddar and I'm going to add in our, we have chicken tenders. Okay. 
kind of just break up that goat cheese a little bit with your whisk. You can stir this several times while it's cooking in your crock pot. Kind of get everything mixed around. While the chicken is cooking, it's going to let off a lot more liquid, so this won't be as thick. And hopefully we can fit our pierogies in there, and then if there's room, I hope to put some um, cauliflower. I put the pierogies in frozen. If yours weren't frozen, I'd maybe wait until about four hours into your cooking time and then add them in. It's this quick, easy, one-pot meal. Alright, we're going to try to stir this up a little bit. As you cook this in the crock pot, it will start to shrink down a little bit. I think I might... Um, Gonna wait to put my cauliflower in just a little bit longer, a couple hours into the cooking. I think I will need something better than this whisk. Goat cheese is stuck in there. Come on out, goat cheese. Go to the party. Gonna mingle. Yeah. All right, we got a little bit better of a spoon. Oh yeah, that's around much better. Just kind of stir this around a little bit, try to get everything kind of coated best we can. Um, I've done videos on the both the base recipes of what we're kind of mushing together tonight. I'll link those down below for y'all. This is something we do quite a bit. We take recipes that we like and we kind of tweak them and turn them around and kind of helps break up the mundane something new all right next we're going to try to throw in some spices all right if you know me at all you know I put these spices in pretty much absolutely everything I cook so we're going to go in with some granulated garlic not much of a measure kind of by taste two tablespoons ish I usually do half the amount of garlic to onion, eyeballing it, so now we're going to do some onion powder, and some black pepper, again to taste, if you're not a black pepper fan, you don't have to use it at all. And then the star of the show, because this wouldn't be creamy Italian chicken without our Italian seasoning. And I put in a quite a generous amount of the Italian seasoning. And again, we're going to try to give this a mix. I will stir this several times through the cooking process. I'm going to put it in the crock pot on low for about six hours or so. And I will try to give it a turn, you know, every couple of hours. Just to kind of keep everything incorporated and make sure everybody gets a little bit of all the good flavors. All right, I'm just going to wipe up my crock pot and get it going. Sorry about the end clip there. We enjoyed that meal so much that we ate it all up without even getting a picture of the end of it. It was a great meal. A little full in the crock pot though, but we all enjoyed it. I encourage you guys to mix up ingredients. Take a few of your favorite meals and mix them together. You never know what you'll get. Until next time, happy homesteading your way.